the hot hell darkness. Your room is ready, child. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Have you ever had a birthday? You know, presents, cake, and thank you cards. If you hadn't had a birthday, you wouldn't exist. And if you didn't exist, I wouldn't have a room down in this hot hell for you, would I? And I do. This is a thank you card I got this morning from one of my guests. Dear Night Night Porter, thank you for not putting me through the mincing machine and turning me into a burger. Oh, bless. It's nice to be appreciated. I turned him into a sausage instead. <laughs> this is the visitor's book, where all the grisly tales of all my wicked guests are written down. Want to see why one of these bad children is down here? This is Carlton's story. I call it the Rap Man. For years, members of Carlton's family had sent him presents for Christmas and birthdays. But as the years went by, and Carlton never said thank you, the number of presents slowly tailed off. His godparents, grandparents, uncles and aunts grew tired of waiting for a note. As his parents were rather fond of saying, a simple thank you wouldn't kill you. Ironic, then, that a lazy no-thank-you nearly did. <laughs> it happened on his 11th birthday. What is going on? Is there a postal strike? No. Why do you ask? No presents or birthday cards? No money? No postal orders? No gift vouchers for the bookshop? And no thank-you letters last year? You reap what you sow, Carlton. Don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, I get it. This is a birthday joke. Everyone's clubbed together to buy me one massive present which doesn't fit in the room. It's outside, isn't it? What is it? A go-kart? A boat? A horse? It's nothing. What did we say last year? If you don't thank people for their presents, they won't give you presents again. But that's not fair! It's my birthday! How hard is a little note? Haven't you even got me a present? You are my parents. Of course we've got you a present. It's just not here yet. Oh. Well, has it arrived? I hope not. Cut me out and give me breath. I want to see your presents, and if I can't extract some thanks, expect some convalescence. What is this? Please don't tell me that this is your present. It's a very special gift, Carlton. It's the gift of gratitude. Mm. He's called the Rap Man. You bring him to life by cutting him out. He then makes sure that you learn how to say thank you. For what? I don't have any presents this year, remember? Well, you might have one. When we told your uncles and aunts that we were getting you the rap man, one of them said that she would change her mind and buy you a present after all. If the rap man can't teach Carlton a lesson in manners, she told me on the phone, nobody can. Who's it from? Your great aunt Wilma. That stingy old moo, her presents are always rubbish. She is a lovely old lady with no money. If she goes to the trouble of buying you something, however small or unsuitable, it's your job to say thank you. Hand me the scissors. Hello, Carlton. Hello, Mum. Hello, Dad, as well. Let's go see the present now. Wouldn't that be swell? Not really, no. Yes, it would. Come on. 
Oh, I love this. Opening gifts. It makes my heart a flutter. Why is your face so grumpy, boy? Are you some kind of nutter? It's going to be rubbish, I know it is. Before you do, please know this true. It's thanks I want to hear. If all I get is grumpy grunts and sighs and sulky wailing, have no doubt, you little lout, it's you I shall be mailing. What? You're so stupid you don't even make any sense. It's quite simple. Either we see gratitude for that present or there'll be trouble. Ooh, scared. I told you it'd be rubbish. Look. It doesn't matter that you like it. What Carlton wants matters not. The crucial thing is saying thank you for her very generous thought. The point of saying, aren't I thank ye, is so she's absolutely sure that her embroidered folded hanky was just what you had always wished for. But I hate it! Come back here and write your aunt a thank you note. Oh, it's hopeless. Those angry days are fast receding. Screams and tears put in the bin. It's just the stamps that you'll be needing and a bag to put him in. Go away! It's my birthday. I can do what I want, and if I don't want to say thank you, I don't have to. Your time is up for writing thank you. You've missed your chance to save your skin. Hmm. So now I'm going to send your auntie a people parcel with you in. He addressed it to Great Aunt Wilma in Ireland. Wrote, not fragile, treat as roughly as you like, underneath. And before Carlton's parents could change their minds, he pushed the parcel out of the window and rolled it down the hill to the post box. After the initial posting, Carlton was hurled into the back of a van. Sorted on a conveyor belt, stamped and franked by a huge bashing machine, chucked into a sack, winched into the sky, dropped into the hold of a boat, jiggled about until he was violently sick, scooped onto the deck by a mechanical digger, crushed into a pigeonhole, then bumped along a stony road in the basket of a rickety bike until finally he arrived at his great aunt Wilma's house where he was delivered through the letterbox with a mallet. It had taken a whole week to get there and Carlton was a little the worse for wear. Carlton, dear, what happened to you? I think I've broken every bone in my body, Auntie Wilma. And why are you here? Well, I refused to write you a thank you letter, so the rat man said I had to come and say thank you in person. He's quite right, of course, dear, but it's such a long way. Tell me about it. It has been a horrible punishment. I'm in such pain from being a parcel. But has it been worth it, dear? Have you learnt your lesson? I have. I never want to be posted ever again. Oh! Jolly good. So, do you have something to say to me? Thank you for my handkerchief, Auntie Wilma. Oh, Carlton, you'll make me blush. It was nothing, you silly boy. You really didn't need to thank me. Oh, good. That's just what I wanted to hear. I like the way the rap man rhymes. It takes the edge off all his crimes. So I thought I would follow suit. Now nobody can call me a brute. And if they do, I'll squeeze their thumbs and fry their heads in biscuit crumbs. <laughs>